Welcome to this evening's discussion hosted by America House, and thank you for joining us to witness the inauguration of the 46th President of the United States. Today in Washington, President-elect Joseph Biden will take the oath of office. Like his predecessors, he will stand before the nation and swear to preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States. Vice President-elect Kamala Harris will also take that same oath. She becomes the first woman to hold that high office and reflects the rich diversity of the United States. In order to put public health before pomp and circumstance, events here in Kyiv and in Washington will look very different this year. You will not see the crowds on our National Mall, nor the traditional presidential parade. But make no mistake, this inauguration, like all others, stands as a sacred moment in our democracy when we not only honor our new president, but reinforce a foundational element of our political system, the peaceful orderly transfer of power to a new democratically elected administration. For this reason, each transition is a testament to the resilience of our institutions, a fact we can't take for granted. Maintaining a government that represents the will of the people requires constant investment. A democratic society that serves all of its people requires vigilance by public servants, the citizens to whom they are accountable, and a free and independent media. In the words of President-elect Biden, democracy is fragile. Its preservation requires people of goodwill and leaders devoted to the common good so that we remain, as our second president, John Adams said, a government of laws and not of men. As the president-elect and his administration work to shape the domestic and foreign policy of the United States in the coming months, let me reassure you of one thing. The United States will remain steadfast in its support for a prosperous, democratic, and free Ukraine, secure within its internationally recognized borders, including the Donbass and Crimea, and resilient against Russian aggression. We're glad you've joined us tonight to hear directly from President-elect Biden about his vision for the next four years. Tonight is also an opportunity to hear directly from American and Ukrainian political experts. I hope their presentations and commentary clarify how our elections and inauguration processes work and explain how their outcomes shape U.S. policy. I'd like to thank our guests for sharing their expertise and thank you again for joining us this evening.